What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Finally back on the beautiful V4R. I do miss riding this bike a lot. I haven't ridden it ever since I did the clutch. And now that I have, and actually the clutch feels great. It's shifting so much better. I haven't tested out if it's slipping yet or not. Uh, but I can't find neutral for whatever reason. Like it's impossible to find neutral. I don't know if it's like not engaging all the way or something, but like I would hold the clutch all the way in. I even adjusted the distance and all that. And for whatever reason, I can't like if it, I have to click it really hard and it just clicks to two and back to one. It just doesn't go to neutral. Very frustrating, but oh well, what can I do about it, right? We'll take it back to the shop some other day and get that checked out because they're brand new clutch blades, so. I'm not really sure like why that's happening. All right, no slippage, just testing it out. Oh man, I miss riding this bike. But yeah, for today's video, we're going to like a massive, massive bike event. Also, sorry if the noise is a little bit louder because I am wearing my AGV today. If you guys can't see, you know, it's matching the duck. That's when I usually wear it. But yeah, we're going to like this super massive uh, bike meet. Kind of, it's not even a meet. Like, it's like a full-on event. Like it's sponsored by Red Bull and everything. Like full-on legit event also another thing I don't know something maybe related to like my clutch lever I don't think like the clutch lever itself but even when I like pull in the clutch the release on the v4 is usually like far out now it's kind of like more in the middle and it feels like the bike is stalling like idling too low thank you sir so yeah I don't know uh, I'll talk to my tech and have him uh, check it out. I love riding the V4 too because it's loud so people hear me coming and they give me room. And now that I'm riding it right after the super leg, honestly I don't think the super leg feels lighter. Yeah, see like, watch me struggle. Uh, this is pulled all the way in and I'm literally fighting it, like pressing it super hard. And I just can't find neutral. It just doesn't, there's literally like no neutral. It just kind of like clicks abruptly into uh second gear when i turn the bike off it works so i'm kind of like i'm gonna be going through a lot of stop signs or stop lights so i'm like do i want to like just shut off my bike and just pop it to neutral or do i just hold in the clutch the whole time at every single light yeah it's definitely not going to be fun but i guess i should have tested it earlier ever since we did the clutch but i've been so busy filming with the fire blade because i got the fire blade after that and then I got my M1000RR back, so I've been just very busy filming with both of these. That I kind of just like forgot about uh, riding some of my other bikes. But we're finally on the V4R, even, even right now I almost uh, bailed out on it, I almost took the M1000. Just because it's supposed to be raining. And I did not want to ride this bike while it's raining, but... And also, as you guys can see, there's a whole lot of traffic. So I'm kind of like, ah, I don't know if I want to ride this bike through all of this in the rain. And especially since I haven't tested it ever since we did the clutch. I mean, I rode the bike home, but that's pretty much it. And though, the AGV, even though it might be loud, it feels like no other helmet like when i was on the freeway and i was just kind of like looking you know at my uh behind me and all that you just can see like it just cuts right through the wind and the visibility is really good on it honestly also i did my maintenance oil service and all that but i saw the service light so i might stop by the ducati dealership on the way back actually and get it whoa what the 
get my service light taken out. I would like them to fix my neutral issue, but I don't think they'll have time because you usually need appointments, but I'm pretty sure they can reset my light at least. Which will probably also cost money. <laughs> Ducati things. I haven't been to a meet solo in a while. And I'm actually like, there's a lot of people I know that are already there. And I was going with a couple of my friends, but they took very, very long. And I was like, hey, I'll meet you on the way. I'll go slow. And they never caught up, so I don't know. Oh, perfect. I was like, I'm trying to avoid like having it to go into neutral. I also need rear tires for this bike, or just a tire set for this bike. So that's another reason I haven't been riding it much. You know, I sometimes like... That's the thing, people like ask me, oh, like, what bike do you usually take? Like, how do you choose? I'm like, honestly, whatever is easiest. Whatever, like, kind of makes sense for the event, whatever is easiest. Like, for right now, <laughs> they had to cover their gears when they passed them. Yeah, this bike is, like, really loud. Because this bike needs tires, it needs some more maintenance, I haven't, you know, like, seen that it rides perfect yet, which clearly we figured out. I mean, it does ride good, but it still has that little issue, which is still annoying. Okay, come on, let's go. Green light, green light, green light. <laughs> yep, there we go. I really want to do a, a wheelie. This bike is a wheelie machine, and it's so smooth with it too, but... As I said, there's a lot of clubs here. We do not want to get pulled over before we get to the event. But yeah, this one has this. The H2O is actually supposed to do the clutch this week because I'm going to the biggest event, like, ever that you guys will ever see. And I always go to every single year, but I end up going in the car because, you know, the cops are strict and you can't take your bike inside but this time we can take my h2 inside so stay tuned that's probably going to be the next video uh my clutch is still not fixed but i was so tempted right here but there's a lot of cars and i'm like i don't know if one of them is a cop yeah i don't know i always have the urge to wheelie this bike whenever i ride it but yeah, the H2 still needs the clutch. Uh, I'm still gonna ride it, because whatever. It's been a while. Now everyone's gonna think that my bike is broken, because I have to like, pretty much hold in my clutch the whole time, since I literally like, look at this. This is supposed to be neutral, but it just stays in one. And if I press it really hard, it just goes into two. There is no like, middle where the neutral is. Also, I have GP shift if anyone is confused. <laughs> But yeah, the R1M got the quick shifter issue, which is really annoying. And now that we got it retuned, uh, I still haven't even done a full ride on it, you know, like full on seeing how it is. Uh, see there's like stands people are riding on dirt and stuff like that red bull is literally sponsoring this event so it's yeah it's a wild bike event apparently and you're not supposed to go in like a lot of dirt stuff my hand is like cramping this is really annoying actually not being able to put it into neutral We should get special access through the security. My hand needs a break. <laughs> yeah, they're like, yeah, we're not gonna let you in. I'm like, ah. 
So that's why we weren't gonna ride because they're not letting people in, but. Guess we're supposedly somehow part of the show. Oh my god. the dirt. Jeez, my poor hand. That was a mission. And I still doesn't want to go into neutral. <laughs> yep. How'd you get in? Let's go through the gate. Holy. I haven't seen this thing in a minute. Bro, I can't go into neutral. My hand is dying. The bike, because I got the clutch plates fixed, and for whatever reason it rides perfect, I can go into neutral when I'm stopped, but when I'm, when I'm riding, I guess when the clutch is like working, it doesn't go into neutral. So at every light, I was like just holding it, my hand is like done. That was rogue. Are you gonna go home and change bikes then? Uh, I don't know, I doubt I'm gonna ride to the other event. Huh? The other event is far, you're talking about the other one, right? I doubt I'm riding there, that's way too far. How'd you get in? Did they say anything? Uh, no. Jose. Oh. Yeah. Oh, really? Holy. Tomorrow for sure. I'm taking the H2 tomorrow. How was the ride? It's alright. I rode this morning at 5 a.m. It was pouring rain. Oh my god. It's supposed to rain soon. That's not going to be fun. I was on that. My rear rain kept going. Uh, <laughs> These are not the best roads for me to move the bike around but we got it mm -hmm. Shoo. that was a lot of work yeah of course that's it <laughs> of course that's me you this guy <laughs> Bike is looking good. How are you doing? <laughs> the M and the R. Looking good. All right. I'm gonna take the, or should I take, should I not take the helmet off? It's way hotter in here than I expected. I'm wearing a thermal. Stay up late? Huh? You guys stay up late? Always. We were up at 5 a.m. Oh my God, no. I went to sleep close to when you guys were up. How are you? What's up, buddy? How are you? Good, good. Good to see you, bro. Nice seeing you, too. Yeah. I haven't even seen this one yet. That's freaking gorgeous. It's the most expensive. It's fully custom. Everything. You got more Little. fiber in that than anything else? Yeah, it's the the full body. It is. The only thing that's missing, even this, this is carbon but painted. Oh, it is? Yep. What? So even the red is carbon fiber? It's just painted. Oh, really? I got it painted in Italy too. 
Yeah, and I actually have carbon wheels coming for it as well. Well, I mean... <laughs> Even the wheels are going to be carbon. I have them on order. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Excited for that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Get no problem getting in. No. All good. Yeah, he said all I want is his freaking H2, man. He's like, I love. Who? Tomorrow I'm gonna bring the H2. Yeah, nice. Line for what? To get in. To get in. It's all the way down there. To get in? Oh, we just we just skipped everything. <laughs> A.M. Oh hell no! Nah. I was still sleeping. I was deep asleep at that time. <laughs> All right, I'll actually, it's getting very hot. And I'm getting claustrophobic. The AGV is very tight, so. Uh, I'm gonna take off the helmet and I'll probably film with my phone and add like some extra footage of all of this and obviously like when we leave because I feel like leaving here is gonna be cool so pause it and we'll be right back It was raining, as you guys can see, it's like dirty everywhere, so it's sunset time. I'm gonna go check out the issue with the neutral thing, and yeah, I'll take you guys on the ride out of here. New gloves, still tight, not broken in. I'll meet you either there, we'll text. Like, I can't just get let it roll. It seems like it's gonna die idling wise. Oh my god, it's gonna be so dirty here on the mud.
always a crazy event. A lot got happened. I got a lot of shots from you guys with the phone. It's all wet too. The views are crazy though. <laughs> Just gotta be careful because my I need new tires and it's slippery so we gotta take it easy right now. How are you doing? Oh jeez. Filthy. I put it back to like a normal, like what I'm used to, but it's pretty far out. Here, you can try it right now. So, get on it, put it in first gear and try to go to neutral. guys we're gonna try to fix this but i'll end the video here if you did enjoy please drop a like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys in the next one <laughs> peace out and ride safe